HIV positive person can have a child and not only can they have a child, they can have a child uh, that does not have HIV. Um, many people are not aware that the mother has to be positive in order for the virus to be passed along to the child. So that happens through the birthing process and um, for breastfeeding. And so for one, uh, treatment as prevention uh, would, can prevent somebody in a situation where the male is positive and the female is negative. Um, being undetectable, having an undetectable viral load will prevent the virus from ever even being passed onto the mother. Um, and going down the line as a domino effect, the child would not have HIV either. Uh, say both parents have HIV, that's fine as well. As long as the mother is adhering to her treatment, she's undetectable she's not gonna pass that virus on to her child. Um, the rates of children born with HIV have went down tremendously um, over the year um, due to access to treatment. Um, there are some third world countries where unfortunately it still is an issue. However, for the majority of the world, um, it is uh, definitely a trend that's changed and it is totally possible to have a kid um, if you have HIV, whether you are male, whether you're female, whatever the status of your partner, it's possible. Um, my ex-girlfriend, um, we dated for about two years and we were going to have two children together, um, one one year and one the next year. Unfortunately, we lost those children to miscarriage. Um, however, they were going to come out negative. Um, she remains negative to this day. Um, and that's a, a whole other issue that I had to deal with. However, at the same time, um, it's very possible to have a kid uh, with HIV. And as a heterosexual male, that was one of my main concerns when I got diagnosed is, hey, now I'm never going to be able to give you know my, my parents that joy of being a grandparent. I'm never going to be able to um, you know play with my kids and raise them because, dang it, I went out and I made this choice. You know, what, whatever the reason it's still possible to have kids. And I think it's a major accomplishment um, when you're in that relationship and you're at that place in your life where you uh, want to bring someone into the world. Um, I think that that's awesome. Um, I think for myself, it's definitely something I still want to happen in my life. Um, I definitely know it's possible. Um, I don't lose hope about it or lose sight. Um, and it's something that you should keep pushing for if that's what you want. Uh, in life because uh, people who I know definitely are great parents who are positive and there's a lot of people that may say someone who is positive wanting to have a kid is selfish um, and for those people I just tell them they go to hell pretty much um, in, in a blunt way um, just because the fact everybody is deserving of that everybody is deserving of having a child and nowadays with ARV prevention with um, so many different ways. As long as you're keeping in contact with your doctor and following the advice of your doctor, they're not going to steer you in the wrong direction. The last thing that anybody wants, myself as someone who's positive or somebody who's negative, wants is for a baby to come into this world with HIV. Nobody wants that. Um, and so it's really important that we, um, you know, are honest with our doctor about what we want. And you know, if if a kid's what you want, go for it. Um, having HIV is a little bit of a hassle. There might be a couple more tests that you have to do when you're pregnant and living with HIV um, or your partner is living with HIV and you're in a serodiscordant relationship. Um, you know, might be a couple other uh, doctor's appointments that you need to go to in the meantime. But when you're pregnant, you're pretty much going to doctor's appointments all the time anyways. <laughs> so might as well add one or two more to the, to the mix. So it, it's possible. And uh, I encourage you to uh, follow your heart.